for today's activity, we will write down pairs of words that might be compared. For example, coffee and tea, dogs and cats. As we compare the words, when you speak with your partner, look for emerging ideas or even emerging questions. We can all probably quite easily state the difference between things. Apples are red, oranges are orange. And that's a good place to start. But as you explore the differences, see if any new ideas emerge. They might be as simple as the kind of pet you want, or they might be something more important, like the kind of class you're having. See if you can come upon some emergent idea that interests you when you compare apples and oranges, or dogs and cats. For example, dogs and cats. Throughout my life, I have seen that boys tend to prefer dogs, and girls tend to prefer cats. Not a perfect rule, of course, but just in general. And so, is there any emergent question there? Something I might be interested in? Is that an emotional need? For example, boys are usually louder and more, more bodily playful than girls. And that's certainly the way that dogs are. Louder and more rambunctious. So maybe it's an emotional choice. Girls are generally quiet and quieter and cuter, and cats are generally quieter and cuter. Okay, maybe there's something to explore and the emotional bond that a person makes with a pet. But maybe there's more to it. I could also think about this in terms of evolution. In terms of evolution, maybe the greatest danger to a man is physical violence. The greatest danger to his survival and the propagation of his DNA might be war, or violence, or attack. And certainly a dog is much more helpful when trying to fight off an enemy, if something is attacking you. Conversely, maybe a woman's chief danger to her survival and the propagation of her DNA might be disease. Might be the diseases that are prevalent in small animals, like rats or bugs. So maybe it's an evolutionary choice that we have just forgotten about, that girls tend to like cats because cats will kill those small creatures that carry diseases. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something we can never know. But if you compare these things in a curious way, you will come upon emergent ideas, emergent questions, that are worth exploring. Is this an emotional choice? Is this an evolutionary choice? Dogs and cats, apples and oranges, bicycles and walking, cars and buses, learning English this way versus learning Chinese this way, learning a language like this or learning a language like that, studying math or studying history, do we learn them in the same way? What's the difference? And is there any emergent question worth exploring? We can take anything, and if we approach it with curiosity, we might find something worth thinking about. And that is our goal in the task today, to compare things and see if in that comparison we might find some idea, some emergent idea, that is worth thinking about.